Hi guys, so now I am in, uh, well this is Klana Center Point. Uh, well, today is an important day because I am actually coming to see the interior designer of my new business. So now I am at the office of my ID. Well, you know, lah, this is the COVID thing. Lah. All right. And uh, this wall here shows their clients. And this is my old friend, Tim. Of, uh, yeah, how do you call the name of your company? Uh? Visata Creative. Visata Creative. Hey, yeah. you've got some big clients, right? Yeah. <coughs> got head attack. I just now I saw Jaya Grocer. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So because he's an old friend of mine otherwise i think he wouldn't lie on me <laughs> small time project la, small la, huh? la, yeah. okay so uh if you guys if any of you guys because we started creative you guys specialize in retail id right, right? right. yeah so what is the usp of your service? oh well i mean we, we we talk about two things in retail hmm. basically hmm. we talk about number one um retail is not about whether it's bigger but it's talk about whether your retail is profitable mm. because ultimately you know uh, retail is it's still a business right yeah so our job here at Visata is to make the best design possible for you mm. uh, most attractive get the customer to stop mm. Mm. Uh, and ultimately the rest is up to you your tagline is design profitable spaces right correct design yeah. profitable spaces yeah. that's yeah. That. so we live to make sure that whatever project we undertake for you uh, it's going to be profitable and he is a friend of Thomas. He knows Thomas. <laughs> yes, I know Thomas. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I... <laughs> ah, wait. So this is Potion Factory. Evolve, evolve more. Yeah. So this is a sample of of their work. Yeah. So hopefully, when my when my business come up, will I appear in this monitor? Of course, you will. Okay, yeah. Uh, okay, uh. Okay, I uh, make sure. The make sure. Later one, yeah. Definitely. So, hey, but make sure when my business, when my one, when my shop show here, show longer. <laughs> uh, okay, 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 okay. Can. Okay. okay, guys, if you need, uh, if you need, if you are running a retail business, you need service, good quality service to design a profitable space. Visata Creative, this is the agency. Oh, I'll okay. include uh, contact details in the description section. Alright. All right. So, inside here, just now we had our meeting here. Uh, Tim and I will go back a long way, lah. Yeah. So this is the the, the space that uh, that they have designed for me. Uh, this is still subject to revision, lah. Uh, but yeah, this is what we have, what we have. We've got a nine meter by. This is how how long are this one? Twelve meters. Twelve right? meters. Yeah. Around twelve, 12 meters. meters. So we've got space to serve about work on three cars at once. Actually, we can park six cars in here, lah. But you yeah. can't you can't squeeze, right? So. Uh, these cars need to be rearranged la. so what i'm looking at is this is the in and out all right this bag is closed so this will be the area where you do washing this is the area we do drying and this spot here is where we will do more detailed cleaning jobs and over here we will have like a customer lounge area so i uh, can't wait to show you guys the actual location but uh, i'm I will, once once I sign the tenancy agreement with my landlord, that's when I'll announce the uh, location of my business. When I switched to Pro Mileage, in my case, I got 46, 47 percent of savings oh, for that time. Pro Mileage was the only one that gave me five thousand extra value to cover. Yet still cheaper, a lot less. A lot Turn up. Less.
Hi guys, so it's been a month since I announced that I will be setting up my own Evo Club car wash outlet. Uh, and well, since then I have registered my business. Um, well, currently I'm registered as a sole proprietorship enterprise, but later on, as the business grows, I'll definitely be transitioning to a full Sundarian Brahat. Well, I've set up my bank account. I have paid my rental deposit, so I'll be operating from the premises of Prestige Car Care. So if you know that workshop where Bobby sends his, his uh, RS6, his Aston Martin, yeah, so that's where I'll be basing my, my business from. Okay, they have a small space there which they have sublet out to me so just paid the rental deposit <laughs> that's a that's a heavy that's a heavy bleed man okay discussions are still ongoing with my partner symphony auto care with regards to supply of my soap my washing equipment and uh, and all that I've also I'm also in discussions with another supplier to to provide me with uh, with the uh, sanitization products so because you see at present as we all know with COVID-19 with all the fears of infectious diseases still top of mind of many people um, sanitization will be in addition to deep cleaning all right in, in addition to wash vacuum and cleaning sanitization will be a, a major component of my car wash service so in fact one of the one of the uh, the packages that i want to offer is that for working people for especially especially for e-hailing drivers all right every day before you head home you, you can sign up a monthly package with me every day before you head home drop by my place five or ten minute quick sanitization of your car every day all right so that at least before you head home and embrace your family uh, your car is in a much you know having or having fetch people and all that the whole day right at least you you know your car is you arrives home in a clean and relatively germ free condition okay that's one of the things that I'm, that I'm looking uh, to set up car wash is a very manpower intensive thing so hiring will be an important uh, step in my process and well as I've mentioned before this if you are looking for a job, drop me a line, con at evomalaysia.com. And now, what are the people that I'm looking for? Firstly, I need hands on deck to wash cars. Uh, whether you are fresh, whether you are experienced, I want to hear from you. Uh, but later on, as the business grows, I will also be needing needing help on to manage aspects like you know the finance of the company, the marketing and all that so for a start there will be a lot of things that I'll be doing hands-on but as the business grows it will be important for me to learn to delegate tasks so that I can focus my attention you know on further growing the business you know to earn earn bigger revenue so that I can pay you know all my staff as competitive a salary as possible all right, and uh, this is one of the things that I have I have put making an early business decision on is that I will be investing heavily into manpower. So what I mean is that I, I don't plan to hire a lot a lot of people, but I want to hire a group of good people. I want to pay them well. These people are motivated to do the best job that they can every day. My setup will be focused on the direction of a premium car wash okay so we'll be doing you know things like interior deep cleaning where you know de detailed cleaning i won't be doing ppf i won't be doing uh what you call it a uh, ceramic coating and all that because next to me is, is ceramic pro so i won't be i won't be doing i won't be overlapping their business right but the thing is that i want people who who would you know who I want customers to know that when you send your cars to me the people working on your cars are dedicated they are passionate they they take you know meticulous care of your car so the only way to do that is to is to be willing to spend 
on manpower and therefore the the in from a philosophical standpoint i will be paying a comp i want to be paying a well a basic salary that will cover that will adequately cover their costs i will be further motivating and and on top of the basic salary there will be a commission so if let's say like a customer comes in for a basic wash if you successfully upsell that customer to a to a higher package you get a commission and i've decided that commission base will be open to all staff all right whether you whoever you are in the company if you are responsible for for upselling a package to a customer you enjoy a commission and on top of that every month end of the month the net profit of the company there will be a chunk of that profit that i will be setting aside to be distributed with the employees so the thing is that i want all members of the team you know to feel invested in the company's growth and in the company's success all right and i want i want them to see a correlation between you know the company doing well and the bottom line number on their paycheck so um of course the next few weeks for the uh before the company is set up getting the the reno sorted i also need to be setting up the epf uh, employer accounts i need to be setting up soxo and um i'll also be providing medical benefits now i won't be doing a, now the thing is that my medical benefit will be slightly different i'm in discussion with my insurance agent okay instead of buying a group company insurance policy what i will be offering is i will be buying an individual medical plan for all my all my team members you see the thing is that right medical insurance and this is something that i want to give back to my team medical insurance is something that gets increasingly expensive as you buy later on in life and the other fact of the matter is let's put it this way you come to work as a car in a car wash you do not want to be washing cars the rest of your life you want to grow and the thing is that when i want people to join my company seeing it not as a final destination but as a gateway to something better in their in their for their lives in the future you come to my place you learn how to wash cars you learn the intricacies you know of the business go fly and do your thing so i will be buying you okay uh, an individual medical plan in insurance company I will pay for your your insurance first a, a certain fixed budget you're welcome to top up you know extra coverage on your on your own initiative but in 3 or 4 years down the road once you have realized that you have learned what you can from me and you decided that you're ready to take off and you know and embark on your own journey of entrepreneurship this medical plan belongs to you and it is then up to you whether you want to let it lapse or you whether you want to continue to service it or upgrade it but the thing is that at least for the first few years that medical plan for you was free that's a few one of the few things like that I've worked out worked out and uh, yeah so now the thing is that right now if you hit me up I can't offer you employment immediately but I think it's a good time to for you guys to if you are if you're looking at this as a prospect drop me a line con at ibumalaysia.com i'd love to hear from you and uh, we can start talking about you know once the biz once my business is ready up and running then uh if the interview goes well yeah can bring you in we can bring you on board take care guys those of you who uh if you're looking for a job hit me up if you've got cars come and support my business okay and uh see you guys in the next video